Hi there everyone, welcome to Bitech PH. What I got here is the Acaso Brave 7 LE. So when the package package, I was able to review Brave 6 if you haven't watched already. Nandiyan yung link. So it comes with this box, so let's check it out. So it comes with a waterproof casing. But the camera alone is already waterproof. I was able to try this ng maulan and okay naman siya. The first impression with Brave 7 LE. Compared sa Brave 6, this feels more expensive. Una, sa weight, mas mabigat to. The build quality is so much better compared sa Brave 6. Para siyang GoPro or DJI Osmo Action. So actually, yun ang mas comparable dito kasi both of them as front facing screen. So meron siyang screen sa harap. So it comes with lots of accessories. So as a cyclist, yung mga mount niya applicable sa atin. So meron siyang mga sticky helmet mounts. You can mount it on your helmet or somewhere else if you want. Merong handlebar mount. Uh, the mounting is similar sa GoPro. Ako, I've been using GoPro for so long so I have lots of mounts na kakabit na sa bike. So this is a plus for me kasi it fits right with GoPro. And it also comes with a remote which is parang wrist watch. So you can put it on your wrist, di ba? Yun. So it also comes with two batteries and dual charger. So that's a good thing to say. Mostly action cameras would only last approximately around 40 to 50 minutes. Paisang battery. I tried charging this around one hour mahigit bago siya ma full charge. So power up natin. Nasa side ang power button. Anyway. So it has a rear screen and it's a touch screen. And it also has a front facing screen. So kapag pinindot mo yung M button sa taas, it will swap between the rear screen or the front facing screen. At least you can see kung shoot ka sa framing mo. So that's the good thing about sa front facing screen. Which is similar sa DJI Osmo. Yung bago ng GoPro, yung Hero 9, meron na yung front facing screen. So it's a good plus. So, between the Brave 6 and the Brave 7, I would definitely choose the Brave 7 LE for several reasons. One advantage niya is that it has a front-facing screen. Number two, the camera is waterproof as it is. Yung kasi issue, no? kung may action camera ka, if I am to buy an action camera, definitely I would go with the waterproof without the case. Yung Brave 6 and yung Brave 7 ginamit ko sabay, uh, inabot tayo ng ulan. So yung Brave 6 natataranta ako, I need to put it in a bag or to put it inside yung casing. May kasama naman siyang casing just like this sa Brave 6. Pero it's a hassle, diba? Kasi this one is a waterproof casing or a watertight or airtight casing. Definitely, if you're going to use the camera inside this case, audio would be muff. As I've noticed with Acaso, ang audio ng Acaso is medyo mahina. If you want to hear the actual or the internal microphone audio from the camera, this is how it sounds. So this is the internal microphone from the Acaso Brave. 7 now, uh, medyo tahimik naman dito, no? hindi naman mahangin and uh, ang naririnig ko lang is yung ingay ng tubig sa baba so, I don't know you can see the image quality, you can see the video quality the image stabilization if it's okay for you, the field of view mas malapad pa rin ang super view ng GoPro, this you can adjust the angle pero the rest are useless I think the super wide or the widest settings is the only the only settings or the only field of view or angle as they speak the only field of view na magagamitin mo rito is the widest settings which is the super view for Brave 7 LE kasi the rest is actually yung super view niya is medyo makitid pa rin. So yung image stabilization kayo na magsabi if it's okay for you. Again the price is just one third or one fourth of a GoPro Hero 9. Actually mas kamukha niya yung DJI Osmo action. A DJI Osmo action kaya lang wala akong ganung camera. No? So if you're going to put this inside the case lalo nang humina yung audio. Pero if you're going to put in music, diba, or voiceover ka afterwards, okay naman din. It will still produce usable video or usable footage kapag ginamit mo yung case. But again, this one has the option of not using the case. So that's number two. So another advantage is meron siyang quarter inch mount sa ilalim. So hindi ko na kailangan ng case. Yung Brave 6 Plus kasi wala siyang mounting sa ilalim so we will need a case so kagaya ng GoPro Hero 7 ang GoPro Hero 7 wala rin ganitong mounting 
So you will need to ah, ito medyo matigas. This is one that I don't like sa Brave 6. Yun. Medyo matigas yung case niya. So definitely may scratch mo yung camera whenever you put it in and you put it out sa casing niya. This is a casing na hindi waterproof. So para magkaroon siya ng mount. So you can put in this adapter para magamit mo sa mga GoPro mounts. So this one sa Brave 7 LE. Yung camera mo meron na sa ilalim so you can just put the quarter inch adapter para sa mga GoPro mounts and sakto siya diretso siya sa lens. Ito yung napansin ko sa ibang action camera no? whenever I put it on my chest hindi gitnang gitna yung shot kasi yung lens is wala sa gitna ba? So this one yung mounting niya is sakto sa lens. And if you're going to use a tripod, now this is not included sa package ng tripod na to. This is from another camera. So, mamount ko lang, quarter inch, selfie stick, pwede na, di ba? Or, or if you want to use a tripod naman, common kasi yung quarter inch mount sa tripod. So, convenient, di ba? I don't need to put it inside a case. Less accessories that I have to carry whenever I ride. Kasi limited tayo sa mga spaces sa uh, bike. Kung meron akong hindi kailangan dalhin as much as possible, mamamaximize natin yung space. So, compared sa Brave 6, I don't need to carry the waterproof case. I don't need to carry another casing. And, yun lang. Yung adapter lang kailangan akong gawin para sa mga GoPro mounts. Which is this one. And these are included kasama na to sa package. So, kabit nyo na siya sa helmet or sa chest mount. So, ang video resolution niya, the maximum is 4K30. Tapos, 2K60. 2K 30 frames per second, 1080 120 frames per second, 1080 60 frames per second, 1080 30 frames per second. Ako personally, I shoot on 1080p 30 or 1080p 60 frames per second. Yun lang. Yung 4K kasi, if I'm going to shoot on 4K, which is capable naman to, no? Uh, nangyayari is lumiliit yung screen. So, medyo nakakrap pa siyang ganun. Tapos, pangalawa, you will need a faster computer para ma-edit mo yung footage, which I don't have. So, Kadalasan sa akin, 1080p lang ang ginagamit ko. This can also shoot 20 megapixel uh, photos or still. Pero ako kasi personally, no, I don't buy action camera for photos. Uh, I'll just use my phone. Most of the time, dala ko naman yung phone ko. Eh, no? It's easier to shoot a picture from your phone kasi mas malaki yung screen. For this one, talagang ang function sa akin ng action camera is when it, yung nagra-ride ka, nakamount siya. Yung hindi ko siya kailangan hawakan. That is the main uh, purpose why... I would like to invest on an action camera. Yun yung purpose ko. At least sa akin, ano? At least sa akin, master, ano? Yun ang purpose ko whenever I wanted to use an action camera. Uh, sa SD card, pinakamalaki kong tinesting is 128GB. Okay naman. Meron pa akong 256GB. Mm, sabi niya, the card is not fast enough. Pero sa ibang camera, gumagana yun. So, I think, ang maximum na nagamit ko na okay is 128GB. Compared sa Brave 6, ang field of view ng Brave 7 ay mas maliit ng konti. Yun na napansin ko, no? medyo mas naka-zoom ng konti compared sa Brave 6. Pero, compare natin siya sa GoPro. So, try natin compare yung angle na tinatawag. So, meron siyang super wide, wide, medium, narrow. Set natin sa super wide. So, kung mapapansin mo, no, yung GoPro is nasa linear. So, this is yung pinaka-zoom ng GoPro. Ito yung pinaka-wide ng akaso. Kung check mo yung, yung item sa table, mas naka-zoom out pa yung linear ng GoPro sa widest ng akaso. Same with Brave 6 yan. Ha? So that's the main difference niya sa GoPro. Kasi ang GoPro, pagka nag-wide ka pa, yan ang difference kapag naka-wide si GoPro. Kita nyo ba yung item sa table? And meron pa siyang super wide. So kita na halos yung buong ano, sala sa GoPro dito. Yung widest settings niya is ang table lang. Yun. So that's one major difference ng GoPro Hero 7 at ng Akaso. So yung Akaso, yung angle niya, and Brave 6, almost the same. Uh, merong option na, na narrow, mid, uh, narrow, wide, super wide dito. Pero I don't think na magagamit ko yung, ako personal, ha? I don't think magagamit ko yung ibang angle. I will always set this to sa widest settings kasi nga hindi siya ganun ka-wide. Sa GoPro madalas ginagamit ko is wide kasi yung super wide uh, fish eye na eh. Fish eye na siya. So palipat-lipat lang ako dyan sa wide and linear. So this one or this one pareha silang wide. Pero nakita mo naman yung footage diba? Uh, yung footage niya I think the field of view or yung angle ng view niya yung buka ng view niya is acceptable. I think it produces usable footage. So pwede na.
Pwede na. Pero again, I don't want to, ano ah, I don't want to uh, put opinion sa inyo. So, kayo mag-decide if yung footages niya is usable sa inyo. This one has a better audio compared sa Brave 6. Uh, parang mas malakas yung audio nito. No? Meron din siyang voice command pero I don't think it's dependable. Unlike sa GoPro, kasi yung GoPro mabilis eh. GoPro, start recording. Mm -hmm. GoPro, turn off. So, ganun siya ka-dependable eh. This one, hindi masyado eh. Pero napaparecord ko naman siya ng ano, kaya lang kailangan naka-on. Yung GoPro kasi kahit naka-off, kapag ka narinig niyo yung GoPro start recording, uh, mag-on yun. Ayan nga. GoPro, turn off. So, sa kanya is parang ano eh, you will have to activate that eh. Yung touchscreen ng Akaso 7 is much better compared sa Akaso Brave 6. Mas uh, fluid, mas fluid ang kanyang touchscreen. And yung remote control is gumagana naman. Ayan, wala kasing SD card yan, no? nag-error. Pero dependable yung remote. Doon sa GoPro, hindi na ako gumagamit ng remote kasi nga kinakausap ko na lang. Especially kung nasa chin mount. Kapag ka naka full face helmet ka, tapos nandito yung GoPro mo, rinig na rinig ka na niya. So yun, the image stabilization is good. Uh, sabi sa ibang review, mas maganda daw yung image stabilization ng 6. Uh, I think it's similar. Kung better man, it's halos parehas. This one, ang build quality ng Brave 7 is sobrang layo kumpara sa Brave 6. Comparable na siya sa GoPro, yung, yung, yung build quality niya. So again, nakita mo naman yung footage. It's up to you to decide if this is worth it ba. Kasi this is just 6,800. Ang GoPro Hero 7, nung brand nyo yan, I think it's 20,000 plus, parang 24,000 yata, parang ganon. Now, you can buy it second hand for about less than 20,000. Ganon. Nagpadala si Insta360 1 hour sa atin, so magkakaroon tayo ng review nun. And the Hero 9. So, yun yung, kung may budget talaga, yun yung pinakamagandang action camera sa tingin ko. Pero kung budget constraint ka, you can get this one for 6,800 sa ngayon, as I've checked. 6,800 pesos. So, kung worth it, ikaw na mag-decide. Pero in fairness to these two cameras, ano, I think I can use this sa mga vlog. Siguro, I will try to uh, use this sometime kapag ka nag-travel kami or nag-ride kami. I will use... Lalagyan ko na lang ng, ano, ng, ng watermark siguro na it's shot from a Brave 7 or a Brave 6. Uh, gamitin natin to paminsan-minsan. I think, I think the image quality is ano, naman, acceptable. Although... Kung ang gagawin mo is enduro high speed trail ride, yung sobra yung shakiness ng ano ng footage. I think it's best for you to get a GoPro. Pero kung mild trail ride, especially kung long road ride, uh, pwede na yung akaso kung talagang uh, mababa yung budget. Pero that's just me. It's up to you. Anyway, tapusin natin yung ano yung ano yung episode natin sa pagbasa ng mga comments nyo dun sa previous episode which is yung Brave 6. So, ito yung mga comments ano. Jerzem Manuel, sulit sa price pero di na kinaya ng stabilization pag sobrang lubak na. Yes, parang ganun niya, master. In my opinion from JC Jasmine. In my opinion for the price of 5k parang di siya masyadong sulit unlike sa Supremo Conquest 3k pesos. Same results din. Ganon din audio. Good review, sir. Yun. So, meron daw Supremo Conquest. Hindi ko pa yan na-try. So, from Gino Selga. Pasado na ito para sa akin, Master. Boss up yung TV. Solid boss. Nice. Ingat po. God bless. Raven TV. 702. May aso talaga paggamit mo ang akaso. <laughs> may, may aso lagi dun, Master. Ayan. From Housey Hub. Before nung naghanap ako ng action camera ng mura, SJ Cam M20 and Akaso Brave 6 Plus, were my options. After some reviews, I came up choosing SJ Cam M20 dahil mas nagustuhan ko yung clarity ng video at mas maganda yung stabilization. Sa tingin ko, lamang po yun. But anyway, nice review pa rin coming from Master J. Thank you, sir. Uh, dati nakatry ako ng SJ Cam eh, pero mas older version. Yung M20, maganda yung ano nun, stabilization. Ano. Although, wala ko ganun ngayon eh, kaya hindi ko siya compare. Usually, nag-release out ako sa brand para magpadala ng sample para matesting natin. Kasi, for example, like yung SJ Cam, meron kang mga kasi kaming GoPro na, tsaka Insta360. So, hindi ko na mabigyan, hindi ko na, ano ba tawag doon? Hindi ko na para bumili nun para ma-review master eh. No? Kasi meron kaming mas okay na medyo high budget na camera. 
Pero if they would send us uh, yung sample para ma magawa natin ng review na ganito, compare natin, sana. Kaya lang, hindi ako masyado pinansin. <laughs> From Copyright Jukes XD Master, sana mapansin mo. Tanong sana ako, may nabili akong secondhand hubs na 32 holes, kaso 36 holes pala rim ko. Tapos nag-angkas ako na paghatid. Possibly ba ikabit yung 32 holes hub sa 36 rims at makapag-angkas ako? Meron akong episode niya, Master, yung sa anak ko na bike, uh, yung sa... Weapon Savage Hubs 32 holes yung hub 36 holes yung rims Gina jump niya, okay naman Pero depende pa rin sa rim master ano? It's still uh, recommended kung pareha sila ng number From Bry D Nice, pwede na para sa newbie Yeah, I guess pwede na naman to for newbies uh, If you're just starting out, di ba? And you don't have enough budget para sa medyo mas mahal na camera I think this is Good enough. From James Paul Salonga, buti naman nagkatubig na ulit yung ilog sa may hanging bridge. Ganda ng camera. O nga, master, da, minsan natutuyo yan. <laughs> Michael Nonan, yung 7 naman ang next, sir. Compare please with the 6. Ito na ngayon, sir. Thank you, thank you sa comment. From Biker, ah, from Biker TZBV. Sakto to para sa akin nag-uumpisa mag-vlog, sir. For now, CP kasi gamit ko pang vlog. Sana this December makabili ako niyan bagong kaibigan mo, sir, sa channel. Thank you very much, sir. More power to your channel. Hopefully, uh, mag-grow uh, mag yung channel mo agad. Ako, sir, nag-start ako sa cellphone din, tsaka sa uh, Hero 4. Yun yung mga time na shaky, <laughs> shaky yung mga footage. No? Tapos, nag-start ako, wala rin mic. Okay yan, sir. Okay yan, master. Uh, tuloy lang. Tuloy lang gawa. From Marshall Low, Ojo 410. Yun ang, yun ang kanyang rating, ano? 410. 4 out of 10, sobrang muffled, parang nasa banyo, not good. So this is about, ano ah, Brave, Brave 6 ah. Ito yung lumang ano, episode eh. If sa video naman, 6 out of 10. Let's say you're wearing eyeglasses, then nagtanggal ka for the first time, yung ganong klaseng blur. So medyo may blur siya pag nagsishake eh. Lalo na pag, ano, lalo na kapag ka low light. Pag low light, kahit naman yung GoPro, kapag low light, nagkakaroon ng blur kasi nag-extend siya ng, ano, ng shutter speed eh. Uh, medyo nagkaka-blur ang stabilization. Pero pagka bright ano, bright uh, situation which is yun yung ideal na uh, mas okay. Pero yun nga, yun pa rin. Pros, cheap lots of accessories, cons, quality worth the price of 52 in my opinion. I'll just wait and save some more and buy DJI Osmo Action at 13990. So yun, so yung DJI Osmo kasi bumaba presyo noon eh. Dati mahal yun eh nung unang labas. So, you can get it for around 14,000 sa ngayon. Pero yun nga, ang DJI Osmo naman, master, is ano ha? Hindi siya kasing wide ng GoPro. Parang ganun na, yung nakatesting ako nung before, yung unang release nila, uh, it's not as wide as GoPro. Pero compared dito, parang halos similar. Uh, the problem with pwede na yan is surely, it will not meet your standards and eventually buy a higher price. Hence, mas malaki, mapalaki gastos. So, may kasabihan na ganun, master, you buy it nice or you buy it twice. From from Fred Fries, Idol Help Sana, sa ang video mo po yung nagpa-paint job ka ng bike frame. Ay, yung ano, dito lang namin yung pinapintahan, master, eh, sa uh, car repair shop. Uh, hindi na namin, hindi ko na na video yung kung paano pintahan, ano, pero yun nga, sila, sila nagpinta nun. Yun yung sa Ave Maldea, tsaka dun sa Tandem Bike. Kasi ang Ave Maldea, kapag binili mo, bare yun, walang pintura yan. From Master Saulo Ilaga, pasyal naman kayo dito sa amin sa Malolos Bulacan, sa Malolos Convention Center, madami bikers doon. Pag Saturday and Sunday, madami kayo mababike check. Medyo malayo kami dyan, Master. Eh. Medyo south kami. Siguro, pag nabigyan ng chance. From Gilbert Mendoza, ganda niyan, Master, more power. Salamat po, sir. Uh, from Sid Outdoors, I'm using Acaso Brave Plus. So yun, so merong Acaso user. From Lem Estrada, nung nagtanggal ka ng Mask Master, narinig na audio. Ganda pa siguro audio niyan pag nilagyan ng mic. Pero overall, sulit na sa 5K yung action cam. So yun, so may kanya-kanya tayong decision kung worth it ba tong mga Acaso or not. Yun nga, napansin ko rin yun, ano, nung, yung, nung nakamask ako, hindi siya masyadong rinig. Well, sa ibang camera, ganun din. Ano. Tapos nung tanggal na yung mask, medyo mas malakas na ng konti yung audio. Pwede mo siyang i-edit. Pwede mong i- o, tawag dito? I-enhance ang audio ng footage mo on post. Pero yung ginawa kong episode, hindi ko yung ginalaw. So, yun na yun. Yan, from Nurse Cutie. Ganda ng video, audio parang mahina. From The Psychology, so si Master Carlo. Video quality is okay, audio lang mahina. For the price, pwede na. So, yun po, yun lang po muna. No? Medyo madami kasing comments. Anyway, so that's our review for the Brave 7 LE. Compared sa Acaso and sa GoPro, 
So kayo na mag-decide kung useful na ba sa iyo. Nandiyan naman yung actual footage niya. So kayo na mag-decide if this is usable or if this is worth it for you. It's up to you to decide. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And kung nagustuhan mo yung episode, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jay. You're in Bye Check Peace. Oh,